welcome back to a new episode of Melody on the TV, the podcast. Y'all, we are back and we are back in motion, y'all. As you guys can see, I have my two lovely co-hosts with me today. And it is our Galentine's Day episode edition. I have my girl Martinique. Hey y'all, my name is Martinique. I met her at Southern. Yeah, and now we both live in California, but I'm from California. Yeah. Here. I model, I do everything really. Call me. Follow me at Martinique underscore underscore. Yes, I got my girls here because we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. So I have my other co-hosts. Hi, I'm sure you guys know who the f*** it is. No, <laughs> like, seriously, this is Beige at St. Beige. If you guys need any kind of personal styling, any kind of hair or makeup services, get at me. And today, you guys, I'm so excited because, as y'all know, I have not posted a podcast probably in like six months. I'm sorry, y'all, but we're getting back into it. We're going to get back into it. It's the beginning of 2024. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. And we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of topics with love, including love, hot topics. We're going to be answering some questions. We'll be showing you guys the Valentine's Day cocktails. And Marty, what else do we have? We also have Charge It to the Game. Also, make sure you purchase the game. Yes. Follow them on Instagram. Link is going to be in the bio. Period. Period. Charge It to the Game. And this is going to be the Girls' Night Edition. Edition. Okay. Yes. So, we're going we to play this, y'all. I'm so excited. This is gonna be I'm awesome. scared. We're going to do this. Yes. So if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys go subscribe and share. Make sure you guys smash that notification bell so you know whenever I make a new post. And we're going to get into this episode. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get into this game, y'all. This girls' night game. I don't want to be the first. I don't want to show you. I don't want to show you. It should be me. Let my co-host go ahead. It should be a motherfucking me. That's just, I don't know. Like you mixing it up. The first part says. F them kids. Mamas, take a drink. Because you was finally able to come out with the girls. Oh! <laughs> so Marty's the only mommy in this group. But you know what? I actually want to have a lot of kids, though. I want to have like six kids. Y'all know this already. She took my baby swimming and they had a great time. Yes. I love kids. I really do. When they well behaved. Now, Marty, you got you got to pull a card. It says, take a drink if you buy new clothes every time you go on vacation. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to spend money. <laughs> I like to spend money, but I feel like if you buy shit that's like, you can rotate out when you really gotta do all that. If you buy shit that's like cheetah print and all that kind of shit, you gotta buy a new swimsuit. But if you buy a nice little white black baby suit. So, yeah. You know? Classic. That's versatile. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna pull one card and then we're gonna take I'm a buying break. stuff every time I go out. All the women who like their men medium ugly take a medium drink. I don't like that. Oh! Um, okay. So let's talk about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> let's unpack that. So, medium ugly. Why are we doing that? Why would yeah. we, do that? <laughs> we do that because we like genuinely fell in love? Are we picking medium ugly men specifically so they don't cheat on us? What's, what's, what's the, what's the, yeah. Mm. If it's we genuinely fall in love, great. You know, yeah. awesome. But like, we're not just all here picking medium Yeah. We all have that ugly way. Like, Relationship like we did better like a minute. But the ugly niggas love you the best. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we're gonna move on. We're not done with this game. We're gonna probably come back to the game towards the the middle of this segment. But right now we're gonna answer some questions because I put in a question box in my Instagram and y'all asked so many great questions. So let's get into these topics and these conversations. Oh Okay. So. <laughs> One day where you caught secondhand embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Which one day you caught secondhand embarrassment? I was on a date with this guy and he um like was trying to get out of the booth and he like bumped it and like knocked shit over and like everybody was looking and I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> he was me. That's mine. Um <laughs> This is so rude if I say this. You don't have to say anybody's name. Okay, but if they hear the story, they're gonna know who it is. Okay, well, okay. Right. okay, so whatever, I'll say. Because it's actually really recent. The nigga had like white shit here. And <laughs> I, <laughs> I had the frothy mouth. <laughs> and a candle on here, so it was like triple combo. I was like, yo. You told him? Of course. You're crushing it. And that's how you know. Right, you're crushing I can't believe we'll be uh, talking. I even bought him chapstick. This is crazy, right? Look at 
because if you, I don't even want to talk to you on FaceTime in your custody. So I hate when people got that white stuff in the corner of their mouth and it, it like out there. Talk. I hope you're using that chapstick. And you can see the lines like when they talk. It's like, don't you feel that? Y'all make me think I have it. <laughs> <laughs> but that be from like lip gloss. That be from you crusty. Oh, awesome. Right. So. They want to put their lips on you. Right. When have I had secondhand embarrassment? From a date. Oh yes, I, easy, y'all. I went to the movies and he had prepaid the tickets. Right. Tell me why this nigga bought a, a senior and a child ticket. <laughs> And then it was like, <laughs> they were like, no, we're going to have to purchase the records. It was so embarrassing. Oh, my God. <laughs> they were trying to get yes. it. Yes. 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 Wait, but did he have the money to pay for the extra ticket afterwards? I mean, he did, but it's like he was trying to be cheap. And then the it was crazy in the same day. We had, okay, so it was like a, we went like a little massage thing where like we had like a, a person massage me, a person massage him. Tell me why the man did not want to pay the people for the massage <gasps> before we went to the movies. Oh my god! They were like, they were about to lock us in that bitch. <laughs> why he didn't want to pay him? Cheap. Uh uh. Now he got cheap. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing, y'all. It was like, dang, strike two, and I'm like, I'm not going on another date with him again, and I didn't. I yeah. was like, yeah, thank we're, god. We're better off as friends, which we really were better off as friends. So, Martin, can you pick the next question? Knowing when to walk away, how to handle it when love isn't reciprocated. Mm. Okay. I think you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one's gonna walk away. So if you know and like you ask your friends and like people that you know around your circle, like should I leave this relationship? Then you should leave. Like <laughs> that's that's literally the number one thing. If you feel that you're more <laughs> sad than happy and like you know like not go above above and beyond, but the bare minimum, yeah. then I feel like you should just you know. You should hit it. I feel like if you gotta ask them, right. Like, because why are we doing this whole love thing if it's not love? Why are we pretending and playing around with it if we really don't feel how we feel? Right. And I feel like if you genuinely feel how you feel, you do shit naturally. Right, and exactly. You don't have to force nobody to do it. So if I have to force you to do it, I need to find somebody else. If they want to do it, they will. Yeah. Like at the end of the day. Like I learned that with my, with my man, okay? If a man really wants you, he's going to put in the work mm -hmm. to really get you and keep you. Not only get you, but keep, keep you. you. Right. That's, so, the, that's the point. Mm, right there. Because they'll get you, but they won't keep you. All right, period. Mm -hmm. What you guys say, Marie? Like they said, if you're not happy, uh, really if you have to question it, because why would you have to question it? And if you're asking that question, we... Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Don't be anywhere you don't, you're not happy at the end of the day. I don't, I don't care how much money he got. I don't care what status he got. I don't care if he fine. No, but I think too, I feel like you should always be sure right, of the right. status of your relationship and the status of you and your partner. Oh, that was a good question, guys. Let's move on. All right. So, Sainty, pick the... Okay. Well, baby. <laughs> I'm Sainty to you. I'm baby Yeah, okay, you guys. If you okay. guys don't know, you're going you're gonna to hear me call Sainty Saint. But yeah. Yeah, beige. it's beige. It's beige. But I'm Sainty to her. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was a lot. It was a lot of good ones, too. Y'all have sent a lot of good questions. Thank y'all so much. Ooh. You ready? Yes. Let's spice it up a little bit. Let's spice it up. How would you... Spoil your man. Okay. Ooh. Did I close your ears? Did <laughs> 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 yeah, I see you working hard? Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be promised. Let me know if I need to reassure you, my love would be I would say you're definitely fine. I am super fun. Yeah. I've never been in yeah. I'm super silly. I like giving gifts that are thoughtful. Yeah. So I guess it would depend on the person. Like, what do they like? Mm -hmm. What's their hobbies? What do they enjoy? Not really a gift that would be just for anybody. Like, mm. so. I like that. Yeah. yeah. What is your love languages? Um, remembering what I say because I talk a lot. But if you're listening. Mm. Mm. So I think that falls into like the quality, like time maybe aspect of it. Because what are they? It's five of them, right? It's five languages of love. Like physical touch. It's like physical touch, just like affirmation. I feel like it's whatever. I mean, affirmation. No. Your language no, of love. No, there's an actual love. My language of love is food. If you, if <laughs> that's my language of love. <laughs> like it doesn't have to be. Mine is like it's like the one. There's like cause there's there are two of them that are similar. It's like one of them where it's like quality time. The other one is like just a thought that they put behind everything. Yeah. And I'm, I'm that one. 
for sure. Like you don't have to have a lot of, if you like if you're very thoughtful. Yeah. yeah, me yeah. too. That's true. Yeah. And physical touch. Wait, wait, what was that last? Wait, where did where did Oh yeah, I, I asked if my love love language. Like, well, how would you spoil your man? Well, how would you spoil your man? I had to change. Uh, how would I spoil you, Daddy? Good meal, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> you heard that, y'all. How I school my man is I cook him great food. I feel like just like, doing the little things that you don't even think about doing. That's how you school him. The little things matter, though. Yeah. Now we can get into the love languages now that we're already on this topic. Yeah, let me look this shit up because I actually want to know what it is. But I feel like my love language is definitely food. And I like a lot of affection. I want you to like be on me all the time like because I will be all up on you. And I really, really just love attention. <laughs> Give me a lot of attention. And assurance. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is Reassurance. Reassurance. Mm -hmm. Yes, reassurance. Every woman needs to hear that she's beautiful or like, you know, she looks good. Simple as I love you. Little things like that every day. So the five love languages are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So mine would definitely be acts of service. Cause it's not receiving gifts. Gifts is just like a gift, but like acts of service is like you really going out of your way to do something for me. I have to have money to, to service me. Right. Like, mm -hmm. So it's just like that's mine. What's yours? I have to pick one of these, but I already mm -hmm. told you my list. No, it's not my list. Words of affirmation. Okay, that's a good one. How do you spoil your man? I don't have a man, but <laughs> um, if I had a man, how do you spoil a man? Because there are a few different ways, right? I think most men need to be spoiled in the way of really listening and really like asking them questions and make them critical think. Some men don't have that skill, especially men from the South. Oh like, yeah, tell, really wanna... tell them where you're from. Louisiana, of course. But I'm in mean, California. She now. said she from California. Y'all know where I'm from. Okay, go cool, ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. But like, I don't know, I feel like like some men like like they don't think like in like like a lot of men from the south they don't think in depth, like they don't think deep, like deeply about things. They don't feel deeply. Like mm -hmm. they're afraid to like go deep with things. I'm not a critical thinker, I like people who think. Like that would be babying to some people. I'm not babying no man and like asking him about his feelings and like why he feel like that and all that. That's like a lot of men need that. So that's how I was spoiled man. I like him to so, like his emotional side. Mm, yeah, because a lot of men don't know how to tap into that emotional exactly. side. Oh, here's a messy one, y'all. Let's just get this one over with. <laughs> oh, Me and my man both agree that this one was toxic. Name one thing you did to get back at your significant other where it made you feel so good, lol. This is so toxic. Mm. I'm just going to start off by saying I never got back. I just leave. Like, I don't get back. You know when, like, females be saying, like, you cheated, so I cheat back? I think that is so trifling. Mm -hmm. Like, that is so trifling to me, and I would never. Because the best way to do that is just to literally break up with him. Right. Like, they won't be with a nigga that, like, after y'all broke up, so he can be told about it. Right. But, like, I want him to know. Right. Like, get a faithful man, and he's like, oh, my man, my new man yeah. actually is loyal. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's doing, doing, his back, doing it behind his back is gross. And, like, I'm just doing it for me. Right, like, right. I want to do it. If I'm doing it to get back at him. You need to see it. Right. So we gotta break up with them first and then go have another relationship. If we're doing it together. Right. Back. Have you ever got back though? Like, have you ever I don't like the whole get back. I feel no, like if you make me mad enough to make me want to get back to you, I'm leaving. Yeah. It doesn't have to be cheating. It could be like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's cheating. Like, what's another way? Like, he beat your ass, you beat his ass. He said your money used to his money. You're right. Getting back is not good, y'all. If y'all play those games, stop it. Because, yeah, it yeah. never works at the end of the day. And you waste your time. Right. All right, Marty. Does it matter if a guy you're dating doesn't ask you to be his valentine? <gasps> Are we in kindergarten? <laughs> like... Will you be my Will you be my Valentine? Um, excuse me. If the nigga I'm dating doesn't <laughs> want to be my Valentine, he's no longer my nigga. Okay, excuse well, me. Okay, well, yeah. It, yeah. It doesn't have to be a child. Yeah. Way, yeah. But because for okay. the reasons for him not wanting to be your Valentine could be very, very. It could be the fact that he ain't got no money. It could be the fact that just <laughs> all kind of things. But if he didn't put for, up for the thought enough to just want me to be there, it could be a simple card if we're like dating serious. What's the card? We can just like. Just like watch, you can just watch, like, I don't okay. know, like, just do something more intentional. If he, if he deliberately didn't let me know that on Valentine's Day we're doing this, <laughs> you're right. Okay, okay, now that makes sense. Okay, if you're, if you're with a man and he's your significant other for show and then he didn't ask you, can you do something on Valentine's Day? If he treat Valentine's Day like every other day and every other day he don't do shit for you, oh, yeah, yeah. that's a problem. Because, but what that is, because every day every should day, be yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day. So if it's like you're in a great relationship, whatever, then mm -hmm. it's like, but still, uh, flowers or a card, you know, it doesn't have to But if you're dealing with a person who buys you flowers every week, 
humility. Oh yeah. I mean yeah. So what is that? I feel like it depends on the person. Like it depends yeah. on the person in the relationship, and because everybody has their different, you mm -hmm. know, wants and likes. So I feel like it depends. Me personally, I feel like I don't really need you to say like leave my Valentine because at this point we engage like bitch. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't, like, it's cute. I don't think that that person is like literally, literally saying like, "Will you be my love?" Yeah, wait, but like, I think that, that that what they're speaking to is like, "This nigga can make no plans with you for Valentine's Day, but you're dating him." I think yeah. that's what she's and there's people that are engaged, like, yeah, people yeah, that yeah. are like still dating, yeah, you're right, right. just starting to talk to people, and you out here doing probably whatever for him and yeah. he's just like oh it's just another day but still wants you to do all the other things that you've been doing it's right like, it's no real. like acknowledge this day acknowledge that you love me it's giving hell no <laughs> dollar tree got dollar balloons that are shaped in a heart so if he can't go get you some 9.99 roses from walmart and a two dollar balloon from the dollar tree but there's something's wrong yeah he's he just at the bare minimum he needs to make sure that i have eaten beautifully <laughs> Yeah. Beautifully. Like at the if you can't eat nothing else, I need to have eaten beautifully. Yeah. And my body needs to be Get your nails done. Yeah. It don't have to be on that day. Anything. Yeah. 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 He should you should acknowledge you in some way. Unless y'all are like super locked in, like engaged or something. So. Yeah. But I, I would totally agree. Okay, so let's see. Discuss being a single friend amongst the taking friends. Oh, I would love to. Um, <laughs> I'm not taking. Oh, so we would love to. Oh, the single. Um, how I feel about it is just I'm really, really happy for my friends who are in healthy relationships. Mm. Um, and we can we can recognize those ones. Ooh, let's okay. let's let's talk about we'll that. We get into that. Yeah. But like for my friends who have healthy relationships, I'm really really happy for them. And like ultimately, like I would want something like that one day. But I feel like I'm very much enjoying my singlehood, singleness. Singularity. Mm. I feel like once you're taken, girl, once you're in a relationship, there's no going back. I mean, unless there is, but you know, especially when it comes to like being engaged or something. I want to think about that. Like, like that's one and done. I don't want to have to do that more than once. Yeah, definitely. So it's just like I feel like I'm enjoying it right now because it's a whole world of people out there. And if I think that the love of my life is going to be exclusive to just Louisiana or exclusive to just California or even exclusive to just USA, I feel like I'm selling myself short. I want the best of the best yes. for me. You know, like I want to who give me. A little best. side note, you guys. My friend Sainty just moved out to California. Like, what is it? Five months ago. Yes. And thriving, you guys. So, like, I'm, I'm so proud of Sainty. Like, he's doing big things out here in California, and I love it. I mean, I'm handling that business. So yeah. So like, you know, I'm doing makeup out here. If you guys didn't know, like, I'm a private makeup artist, so I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. But um, something else that I think she's like speaking to right now is. No, I'm like, dating. I mean, I'm dating right now. I'm having a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, California is a lot different than where I'm from, so it's like yeah. people are just a lot more like open, a lot more like I don't know. It's weird because like from the south, like people always say people are more caring down there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's just my dynamic and like what I am. It's like the reverse. It's How like, is it? I get more love out here. Yeah. I get way more love out here. Mm -hmm. Like don't get me wrong, niggas. Fuck with me, like y'all never just like I don't like all of that, like on the low shit and just like all of that, like I don't do that. Mm -hmm. So and I don't need you to like walk down the street holding my fucking like, hand, but at the end of the day don't be scared to if we need to. Mm -hmm. You know? I feel like like guys are just a lot more like like open out here and just a lot more like I'm unafraid and unapologetic. So it's been a really, really, really interesting. Um you guys should see a ring on this finger like in about three or four <laughs> years, you know? I mean yeah, stay tuned. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being single right now amongst my taking friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> How is the single life? It's cool. I actually enjoy seeing thriving black marriages. I enjoy learning from them, and the good and the bad, and enjoying myself right now really is what they all say. It's just like enjoy the right now because, you know, right. it's wonderful, but it's not easy. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, you guys. So the next question is mm -hmm. okay. So I can just answer this question <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Somebody asked me, "How does it feel to be engaged?" And I feel amazing, you guys. But honestly, like we can finally get into the, like the topic of healthy relationships mm -hmm. because I feel like this is like my first healthy relationship. Like, yeah. and I didn't realize like my past relationships that was not healthy at all. And I thought I was so happy and I was so in love. And then I realized. How it, what it really feels to be like taken care of and loved and I'm like wow like it's night and day like it feels great to be in a happy 
healthy relationships. So that's how I feel like. And ever since that we started moving in together, like and like seeing each other every day, it's just like I can do this. I can do this for the rest of my life. Like I love you. Oh, I never heard you say that before. <gasps> I got you. I, you know, but like. <laughs> No, absolutely. It's just happening. So y'all stay tuned for that. Yes, yes stay tuned guys. For that. It's so crazy. I'm gonna, be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be getting married next year. I think it's so like it's so beautiful. Like I honestly, I honestly just almost like like watered up. Like as I go to because I was just thinking like when I met her, she was like stupid, no stupid. Right. And it's just like like I remember like those conversations. She was like, like I'm like you're gonna get over it. Like you should just get over it. Like, you're gonna get over it. Like you know like. Like all that, like being a typical friend. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, but you don't understand. Like until you are like in a relationship, I know people say that. Cause I'm like, it's <laughs> and I was gonna make an excuse to you. Yeah, but, but I, I get it though, because that's what you're used to. Yeah. So it's just like to see God like bring you completely out of that situation and that space, and like completely like turn around his head, do a complete 180. Yeah, that's like really really powerful. Yes, honestly, so, you guys, that's what I really pray for. Like when I got out of like really terrible relationship, I really prayed that God would like show me something way different and that's exactly what I got exactly what I prayed for so if you guys are in a situation where you're like heartbroken you feel like you can't get out of a relationship you feel like you can't find anybody just pray y'all better say that's Sierra's prayer <laughs> Jesus I love you date suggestions for first time couples sneaky links and see oh my goodness date suggestions for all of them date suggestions for a sneaky <laughs> link for first time couples sneaky links and season Okay, let's start with the first time. First no, let's start with the sneaky link, and then work our way up to. How do you just date a sneaky link? Like, how do you take them out? Taking you out on the date. You don't have to YouTube. Well, let's get yeah. Creative. yeah, let's get creative with it. Because this person, I'm, I'm assuming they want to add some pizzazz to the situation. So the situation is just that you a sneaky link, but they want to do that with some pizzazz. <laughs> so how do you? Light the candles when they walk in the room. Spray a little Febreze. I don't really know. Put on lotion. After you get off the shower. Brush your teeth. So you don't need to be Like, how can we make a sneaky link? Not, that's not a game. Brush your teeth. No, they want to know. They want to know. How can they make that sneaky link? They're writing it down. Brush your teeth. Extra, because this is a, keep in mind, this is a get out in time. Okay, that's so true. make sure, see what kind of movies they like. Yeah, because some of them make it pause. Put ourselves in a situation. We're single. Mm -hmm. We got a nigga coming over on Valentine's Day. We're I'm both not single. doing that on Valentine's Day. That's too dumb. What do you mean? What does it mean? Sneaky what? Thing on that. Not yeah. sneaky, but I just mean like. The first one, I'm not sneaky with him any day. So okay. Like, yeah. This question is not. Sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be sneaky. I think I think what they're what they're speaking to is just like so for Valentine's Day, being that we're not together, but you're coming over like you always do. How can I add some extra pizzazz to Cook Valentine's for Day? Him? No, because you're doing too much. <laughs> like. So. <laughs> order, order some food and just watch Netflix. Yeah. You don't order all the pizza hut. Well, y'all see how they feel. They Grab a little wine. <laughs> really, I feel like you stupid. But yeah. That's just. I love it. Now we get into the real party. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really I feel like a cute thing you could do would be like that simple and like not like crazy. It would be just like. Roll oh. up. Oh Roll up. God. Really, what I'm gathering is you don't want that to be your sneaky link. You want that to be your significant mm -hmm. other. And you need to have that conversation Ooh. instead of having a conversation with it. Oh. But they can be your example. I try, girlies. Okay. I'm a girl's girl. All right. How about how about uh, first time couples? Have like let's go past sneaky links. What is first it time couples. Date for a first time date for like just me. Couples, just like in a relationship. Have like, you ever what? planned a date for a guy? Planned one? No. I'm not used to that. I, I like when guys. I like when guys take like the like, lead with that. I mean, I plan dates when it comes to the movies. Like a first time date, though, I feel like that's the guy. Okay, not first time. Yeah. date. it said first time dates, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's like. I don't. That's think the guy. That's that's, that's up to the guys, you guys. So we're gonna piss. We're gonna uh, skip past first time it. dates. <laughs> <laughs> <Piss past. laughs> okay, we guys. We're gonna go to the season couples. What is some date suggestions for season couples? Oh, what so do y'all do? Yeah. You've been you've been in a relationship before too. I didn't get engaged, though, so clearly I was going on the wrong date. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, okay, wait. Now that I come to California, yeah, actually. 
But Olivia, no. I feel like some some dates that you guys can go on for a season couple is it don't even have to be spending a lot of money, honestly. You can really do this most simple things and have a great time, like the best times. Like me and my man, we went and we got some like canvases, blank canvases and some paint. And we did, we found pictures online where we wanted to paint and we did like a little paint and sip. Spend no money. And then another thing is you guys can go to the beach and have a picnic day and watch the sunset. And just like, you know, eat like, you know, if you each other a little charcuterie, whatever y'all want to do. Massage, get a little tent. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my man, we gonna get a tent. We gonna pitch a tent on the beach, period. But anyway. But if you're a season couple, I think what definitely needs to happen in general is just that extra amount of thought. Yeah. Because if we've been together for a while now, we might be slowing it down, and I won't slow it down. Right. And I'm I'm for like not spending money either. Like I like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't like to spend money. Yeah, I don't like my man's. How you got me is how you need to keep me. Keep that energy. Don't slack up on that shit. Yeah. Even if the money slack up, you gotta be extra creative. Yes. You know? that, that's a big thing. Yeah. All right, you guys. So the next question is, what are some great gifts to get your significant other? I'm honestly not a, the the best gift giver. My man knows this, y'all. I just I I love with my heart, not physical things. I honestly don't really like expect gifts to be given to me either. So I'm not the best person to answer this question. What, okay. is, what is the best, what great gifts to give your significant other? I answered this earlier a little bit, kind of. It depends on what they like. And one thing that I do do though, I liked a, a good card. Not only like just a regular standard card that you buy from like the store, I like to write a, like a personalized note, like a, um, a long paragraph in like the note. And like I literally write my mom, my, my man, like anybody, all my loved ones, like on their Christmas, holiday, birthday, you know, any type of holiday. That's my type of gift giving instead of like really trying to spend a whole bunch of money and go above and beyond, which I, I can do, but it's just not me. It's mm -hmm. just not, it's just not me. I know I sound terrible, y'all like, <gasps> but it's just not me, y'all. No, yes, I mean, that's not, yeah. <laughs> I hate Christmas. <laughs> I always say, get your nigga to get that both y'all can enjoy. Oh, yes. So. Yeah, one time, y'all, one Christmas, I gave, I gave my man underwear with my face on it. Period. And it was too small, and he hated it. Oh. <laughs> get that nigga some new cologne. Get him some, get him some cologne that you want him to smell like. Yeah, see what he really, what he really likes. Y'all know what he really, really likes, and just mm -hmm. get what he really likes. Yeah. All right, you guys. That concludes the Q and A portion of this video. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna take turns pulling cards. Any player who has taken a photo of their plate and not their date, take a drink. You ain't sweet. Did that shit last night? We all gotta take a drink today. Y'all. Right. Miss all all is. Is. I'm ready for the wine. No face, no case. Yeah. Y'all gonna answer three more cards because we're getting a little tipsy. And then we gonna have a dance off. <laughs> and then y'all can tell us who's the best, who got the best move. And then we're just gonna have a little banter, and then we're honestly just gonna wrap up this episode because this video is kind of getting a little bit of a long side. Oh, we're not taking shots. We're done with that. Y'all just trying to get us drunk, and then what? And then what? <laughs> and then what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want from us? You're not gonna even know. No. The slow friend. Any player that has accidentally sent a screenshot to the same person they were trying to make fun of, take a shot with your messy ass. <laughs> That's her. That's this. No, I, didn't, I never done that. <laughs> never done that. <laughs> I never done that. I don't, make, I don't make fun of people. Double check, triple check if you send me something. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you would be more calculated. That's why I didn't choose you. I'm not, a, I'm not a bully. I don't make fun of people when just send oh, stuff bitch. like that. So we're bullies, right? <laughs> <laughs> the black Regina jewelry. She's a fucking yeah. killer bitch. Yo, I was at the nail shop earlier and I had went on Google Translate and I put, <laughs> and I had uh, put the microphone. <laughs> so I've been trying to do that, but I don't It does not work. work. It don't work. Like, like, I tried it so many times. Is there an app? All right, you guys. I'm like, never have I ever. <laughs> we just said, oh, okay. never have I ever. I guess we have to put a, put a finger up or something like Yeah, we'll do that. And first one gets to 10. No, put a finger down. First one gets to five. Takes, no, first, first five hands down. First five fingers down with the shot. All right, never have I ever got a tattoo. Put a finger What's up? If you didn't do it, you put a finger down. Yeah, if you, if you did it, put a, put a finger down. Okay. I'm going to put a finger down. Y'all don't have a tattoo? I don't have a tattoo. I know you don't have a tattoo. Okay. Never have I ever stood someone up on a date. No purpose. Ooh, we all stood up people mm -hmm. on a date. I'm just gonna hold okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever had a speeding ticket. Never have I ever ghosted someone. Damn, I, I how many how many fingers? Oh, like, three. Three. <laughs> we have to we have to do an audio. I got three too, Marty. An audio thing for the people who are listening. Saint got three fingers. Marty got three, got three fingers, fingers, and I have one finger, <laughs> <laughs> and I have the pinky up. And it's been less than sixty seconds. <laughs> Okay, never have I ever lied to get out of going to work. Uh -uh. Have I? Have, I have 
haven't been to work in so long. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lied. Never have I ever given a fake name. I have. Y'all, when I was younger, I had fake names whenever people asked me what's your name. Megan. It was always Megan. I was Tyler. You wanted to be like that, like a girl with the boy name? Yeah. That's <laughs> it's so hot. That's it's so hot. Yeah, it's really hot. hot. Who was your name? My name. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gals. Never have I ever been refused entry in a club. Oh, no. I gotta think about that. Girl, that would hurt my feelings so bad. <laughs> like, when I didn't want to pay. Because that's, that's me. But refused entry? But, yeah, I didn't refuse like, okay. you. You can't get it. It was like. They told me that it's free, and then I find out I have to pay, and then they were like, "You can't come in if you if you don't pay something." I'm like, "Damn, I feel like that's refused entry." No, no you that's didn't pay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> refused is like even if you got the money, eh. Right. Like, <laughs> you handed them your ticket, and they was like, "Screw!" Like, no. Okay. Yeah. Never have I ever said I love you when I didn't mean it. Okay. No. Yeah. Never have I ever been mugged. Mm. Put down a finger. You been mugged? You've been mugged. Yeah. Like like me mugged like a. No, it's <laughs> mugged like 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 my hand is done to me and I spoil your money. Oh no no no! <laughs> what what the fuck? Oh, I thought it was like me mugged because like the oh, people, you know them kids me <laughs> them kids me mugged me every day. Never have I ever broken a bone. Oh, never have I broken. These are these are all scary. Like yeah, <laughs> never have I ever gone on a blind date. Not a blind date. I'm surprised. No, but I, I, everything I'm I going to know. Oh, okay. 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 You got, wait, how many fingers do you have? Five? Five. 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 You have four? Okay. Never, uh, never have I ever been cheated on. We, we all, we've all been cheated on. I don't think I've been in a serious relationship where it counts. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Never have yeah. I ever dined in Dash. Never. All of us eating at IHOP and it was like, fuck it, we just don't get it. I would be so sick. They used to do that at Denny's though after high school. Y'all know who y'all are. Actually, no, I'm not going to put a finger down because I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> if I paid or not. <laughs> and I, I, I don't think that's me. Okay. Never have I ever trespassed. Oh, probably, definitely. <laughs> trespassed. Never have I ever spent more than $200 on a night out. Mm, more than $200 on a night out. $200? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to no. be. No. It doesn't have to be as simple as a club or something. It could be like a big night, but it doesn't matter. A night. Or a night. What if I was spending $200? A night out? out? Like club? No. Yeah, you're right. I haven't done that at a club. <laughs> a I spent club? $200. No. I don't even want to spend $200. Or like toward a night. Yeah. Like we ate and went to like the You know me, I've been more than $10 to know with you. <laughs> 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 I'll go home before I spend $200. She would really go home. On vacation, you run it up. This is the bitch who buy off for vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to, uh, where did we go? We went to, um, Dominican Republic. You guys, real quick side story. This is how we got so close, was because we went to the Dominican Republic and nobody, none of my friends wanted to go with me. And Saint said that you'll go with me. It was so fun and so random. And we got, we got so close because of that trip. And like, that literally was supposed to happen because I didn't have a passport, like, before then. Yeah. Like, literally. I found out like a few days before. Yeah. And like it usually takes like a week at least to get your passport. Yeah. And some kind of way they were able to give you mine the same day. So that's how I knew like it was supposed to happen. All right. And, and we everything. and we met each other. We probably met each other one the other time before. Well, the first time we met was for the photo shoot. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Yeah. It's gonna be the beige photo shoot video. Yeah. That's our first time actually meeting. Second time us getting close happened in Dominican Republic. Right, right. But I think why that happened too is because it was COVID time and it was so, like, everybody was isolated. It wasn't like a lot of people. Mm, so we right. were like, with each other. Right, like, exactly. And it's crazy because like I said, we met one other time before we even went on that trip and mm -hmm. we literally got so close. We spent the night in the bed. We were sleeping in the bed together every <laughs> night. <laughs> this bitch could have been a fucking killer and I wouldn't even know. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been a killer. Anyway, how many fingers we got? I got four. I got four too. <laughs> Never have I ever pulled an all-nighter. You put, definitely put a yeah. finger down. <laughs> He pulled an eyeliner. Never have I ever cheated on a test or exam. I was known for that. <laughs> known for it? <laughs> Not known for it, but it's just like. Yeah, that's what you gave. <laughs> I gave Vanessa. All right, you got two. You got one. I cheated. Okay, you got two fingers, and I got two fingers. I got two. Never have I ever hitchhiked a ride. No. What? Terrified. That is some white people's shit. Uh -huh. Never have I ever stuck into a concert or a music festival. No. Um, let me think about that one. You talking about the Beyonce concert? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just wanted to, he just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah. Never have I ever edited my selfies. Oh, uh, here we go, bitch. <laughs> Everybody's. You don't have to edit. Oh, you have somebody edit it for you, bitch. Uh, 
pause until she gets it. A selfie? So, okay. I don't know. Okay. 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 Did you do that? It's all there. Okay. Yeah. It's all there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I got one for Marty. I got one for Marty. Yeah. Never have I ever returned something after I have already worn it. Okay, worn it. I don't know what all that. Never have I ever skipped a class. Why are y'all finding me? So we can do it the same time. Because we all got all fingers on. Except for you, you only got one. I need three things for three girls. Okay. I want us to have emotional happiness and contentment within ourselves, whether that's in a relationship or a single. Mine is making this motherfucking money. All right. Mine is building a relationship with the Lord so you can continue to guide us. Oh! So that means with well, all three of us, we should have emotional happiness and prosperity, mm -hmm. financial stability, <laughs> motherfucking money. And money. And uh, like a uh, healthy relationship with God, girl. I think that's all we need. That's all we need. Cheers. 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 Never have I ever been in love. Never have I ever been in love. Okay, I, we've all been in love. What's the difference in being in love? love? Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's let's define being in love. Like, what's the difference in me just loving him and being in love? What's the difference between kitty love and adult love? That is Ooh. true. How do I know I'm in love with him? I can't stop thinking about him. Okay, that's normal. Yeah. If he makes me happy. What's the difference between Butterflies and actual love. Like, yeah. You wouldn't. Butterflies like, go away. Yeah. Love never goes away. Yeah. Hmm, that's a really. I good know question. that. But then again. <sighs> Have you ever been in love? <laughs> I've definitely loved guys that I've been with. Have like, you ever been in love? I don't know. Define it for me. You, you've been in love, like how? I feel you? like when you're in love, you just know it. Like it's not like it's just like these are the the, the defining factors. Let me ask. Like, let me ask the people in a relationship. Does in love feel like vulnerable? Does it feel yeah. like at any at any moment this nigga could like stab my heart? Like because he has my heart in his hand. I feel like yes. When you're in love, like at, at any moment he can break your heart. Yeah. <gasps> I've never played. But you trust him so much that you're like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you trust him that you're like, okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day episode. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys thumbs up, go smash that subscribe button and join the WWE family. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys rate this five stars on any type of audio platforms. Smash the notification bell so you know whenever I make a new post. And thank you so much to my co-host Martinique of and Beige for coming. Yes. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we lit. We told y'all we was gonna get lit. And baby, we lit. Yes, and if you guys like these vibes that they have, make sure you guys comment below. Let me know if you guys want them back on my podcast. If you guys have any ideas, topics that you guys want to discuss in further episodes. Make sure you guys comment below and let us know. Until next time, I will see you on the next episode of Melody on May TV, the podcast. Bye. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Day y'all. And if you're not spending it with someone that you love, we love Spend you. it with us. Call us. We Call me, meet me. If you want to reach me, if you want to reach me, it's okay. Whenever you need me, baby. Call, Call me. me.